next fight is a mixed martial arts fight. Please welcome to the ring, fighting out of the red corner, give it up for Anthony Mullen! Coming down to the ring now and fighting out of the red corner, we have Anthony Mullins taking part in a mixed martial arts bout lasting for three three minute rounds. Anthony Mullins has been training hard in the MMA sessions at Redditch MMA. I believe he formerly has a karate background from when he was younger. Maybe he'll utilise that in the cage, Jack. Conrad Wozniak fighting out of the blue corner. Both of these fighters training a Redditch MMA. They've had many a training session together. It'll be interesting to see how they feel going into this bout against one another, having trained with each other previously. Yeah, you wonder if those previous sparring sessions are playing on anyone's mind. It's, it's always a factor, isn't it? Someone must have got the better of the other at some point, or maybe both of them. They've obviously been matched up for a reason. They must be very competitive with one another. We have Anthony Mullins fighting out of the red corner and Conrad Wozniak fighting out of the blue corner in an MMA bout. I think both of these fighters will favour the striking realm, even though they're doing an MMA fight. I think uh, I think we'll see more of a standing fight, but we'll we'll wait and see. Beautiful leg kick to open up. Conrad putting on the pressure. Anthony backing up, trying to gauge some distance, fainting that jab. Beautiful leg kick, takes Conrad off his feet. Anthony is landing some fantastic low kicks so far this round. Those low kicks are really disrupting Conrad's movement, almost putting him on the floor. He's starting to check those now though. That's a good adaptation, you don't want to be eating too many of those, particularly as the fight goes on. Both fighters swinging wildly. Conrad fainting a teeth there, but he gets caught. Another nice leg kick. Conrad gets the single, tries to switch to a double, and he does. Secures takedown. Anthony needs to look to stand up. He needs to keep Conrad's posture down. Doesn't want to concede too many strikes in this position. In the full guard, what would be your preference? Try and stand up and get it back on the feet if you're Anthony, or maybe throw up some submissions? If I was Anthony, I wouldn't, wouldn't try and get comfortable on the ground. I would work to get up, particularly with strikes in play. He's got an open full guard, so he can look to bring a knee across, maybe get a knee shield in, use that to stand up. And he's used the mat to shuffle along to the cage wall. He will try and utilize the cage to stand, but with that, we will end the first round.
Yeah, it was a strong finish to that round from Comrade. Very Khabib-esque, working Anthony towards the cage ball, aiming to pin him there and land some big strikes. It's a strong finish to that round from Comrade. But Anthony was looking comfortable in the striking, and it'll be very interesting to see how the second round plays out. I completely agree. A very even round. Comrade with a beautiful takedown. But Anthony backing up, getting distance, landing effective strikes. You don't always have to pressure forward. If you can land effectively going backwards, it will score more points than if you're going forward and getting hit. Yeah, exactly. It takes a lot of confidence in your striking. But when somebody's pressuring towards you like that, it does give you opportunities if you feel comfortable with your counters. And with that, we will start round two. Conrad working his jab. Anthony, another couple of strong leg kicks. Conrad, switch stance for a moment there. Some his leg's really kicks. hurting. Chopping kicks to that front leg by Anthony. Conrad's lead leg is damaged. He's thinking about switching that stance. Conrad looking to be the aggressor, he just needs to land more. Breathing heavy now and that leg is hurting. Yeah, you can see the reddening behind the left knee and on the right side of his body. Sorry, the left side of his body. I think if you, Conrad, you really look to try and get it to the ground again. Save that leg and try and keep the rest of the round on the floor. Served him well before we can see Anthony pressure in now. Feeling more com comfortable with the striking. I think you're seeing Anthony know that his leg kicks are being effective, know that he's got the more effective striking, and he knows his opponent's hurt. So why not put the pressure on now? He's chopping in with those leg kicks, pressuring him towards cage rule, landing some strong strikes to the body in the head. And it's stopped! It's a standing take KO finish for Anthony Mullins. Fantastic striking performance. Really asserted his dominance, very comfortable, very confident, picking out those counters as comrade pressure towards him. You're absolutely right. A beautiful performance by Anthony Mullins there. Used the first round to gauge his opponent, land damaging leg kicks. He brought those into the second round and ultimately ended up barraging comrade against the cage with a flurry of punches and our referee Simon Roycroft was forced to stop the fight. And he, he fought very intelligently, disturbing his opponent's base with those kicks. And then as they were dealing more and more damage, slowly working up, you see he was opening with a lot of leg kicks in the first round. Referee stoppage! 